Welcome to CSE Guru. Now we are discussing decrease and conquer technique. The first problem we are going to solve under decrease and conquer technique is insertion short. This insertion short follows decrease by a constant value that is decrease by one technique, first technique. So here the problem is to sort the given array a of 0 to n minus 1 in ascending order. Already what do you mean by sorting you know, arranging the elements in ascending order. So here the problem is to short the given array a of 0 to n minus 1 in ascending order. Next the design method to implement insertion short. So here the first step is the given array will be divided into two parts. One is sorted array and another one is unsorted array. So for example if you consider any array. So here this array we need to sort in ascending order. So the first step we have to follow here is divide the given array into two parts. One is sorted array and another one is unsorted array. So here initially one element we have to consider in sorted array. So this you consider it as sorted array and this is unsorted array completely. After this all the elements is unsorted array. Okay. So here if we are considering in this sense, this is element 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 because array will start from 0th position. Okay. So here this is 0th element. So consider only one element in sorted array and the remaining all elements will be in unsorted array. Okay. So here for example how we can consider in this sense consider so this is 0 to j and this is k to n minus 1. So here this is sorted array, this is unsorted array. So here the elements from 0 to j are sorted elements and k to n minus 1 are unsorted elements. Okay. So here the kth element we need to compare with all the elements in this sorted array. That is this kth element immediately after this sorted array, the first element in the unsorted array we have to take it. And this element will be compared with all the elements in the sorted array. Okay. And this will occupy the right position in the sorted array. After implementing this element will enter into the sorted array. Okay. And the remaining elements only will be in the unsorted array. Again next iteration what we have to do the next element in the unsorted array. Compare this element with all the elements in the sorted array. And find the right place to insert this element in the sorted array. Okay. At the end of the next iteration, this element will occupy its position in the sorted array. Likewise, each element you have to take it and, and compare with all the elements in the sorted array and find the right place to insert. And finally, when you are implementing the last element, that is the last iteration, this element will also occupy the right position in the sorted array. Now, all the elements will get sorted. Okay. Initially, you have to consider like this. So, only one element in sorted array and remaining all the elements in the unsorted array. The first element in the unsorted array, compare it with the sorted array. Okay, which position it will occupy. So, 0th position only 45 will be there. If you are comparing 45 is lesser, 60 is greater. So, 45 will occupy 0th position, 60 will occupy first position. So, next iteration what will happen? 45 and 60 will be in the sorted array. Remaining 3 elements will be in the unsorted array. Next iteration, this 20 will be compared with 45 and 60. Likewise, we have to implement. So, here the second step if you are considering, the kth element can be inserted into any position. Any position in the sense right position. Okay. From 0 to j of the sorted list. Each iteration, the unsorted list will be decreasing by 1. This unsorted list one element we will consider and that element will be compared with all the elements in the sorted array and this unsorted element will occupy the right position in the sorted array. So every iteration one element will be decreasing in the unsorted list. After n minus 1 iterations all the elements will be in sorted array. So this is nothing but design technique. So first step Divide the array into two parts. One is sorted array and another one is unsorted array. Next, the kth element compare with the sorted array and it will occupy any position from 0 to j in the sorted list. Each iteration, one element will be decreasing in the unsorted array. Means this element will occupy the right position in the sorted array. Okay. 
So after n minus 1 iteration, all the elements will be in the socket array. This is the design technique. Okay. So now we will see one example. Consider this example. So here the first element we will consider and we will keep the first element in the sorted list. Okay. And the remaining all the elements in unsorted, unsorted array. So now what we have to do it in the sense, compare 89 and 45. Okay. Compare. So 45 is a lesser element, 89 is a greater element. So what it will happen? So the position if you are considering in the sense, this is 0th position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So now 45 is a lesser element. So it will occupy the 0th position and 89 will occupy the first position. Okay. So now this 45 will be placed in the right position in the sorted array. Okay. So now among these two elements it is sorted. Okay. And the remaining unsorted list contains 68, 90, 29, 34 and 17. Okay. So next iteration. Compare this 68 with these two elements. And this 68 will occupy the right position in the sorted list. So this is first iteration. Now we are implementing second iteration. Okay. So second iteration compare 45 and 68. 45 is a lesser element compared to 68. So 45 will occupy its position only. Compare 68 and 89. 68 is a lesser element. 89 is a greater element. So 68 will be placed here and 89 will be placed here. So now this is the shorter list and this is the unsorted list. 90, 29, 34 and 17 will be in the unsorted list. Next iteration, third iteration, compare 90 with this sorted list. So compare 90 and 45. 45 is a lesser element. So keep it here. Compare 68 and 90. 68 is a lesser element. Keep it here only. And 89, that is whenever it is a smaller element, it will occupy its right place. Okay. 89 and 90. 89 is the smallest element. And 90 will occupy here only. Now this is the sorted list. And this is the unsorted list. 29, 34 and 17. Next fourth iteration. So here this 29 will be compared with all the elements in the sorted list. 29 and 45. 29 is a smaller element. So 45. So here 29 will be placed. And next to 45 is the smallest element and next to 68 is the smallest element, next to 89 and next 90. Now this is the sorted list and this is the unsorted list 34 and 17. Next fifth iteration compare 34 with the sorted list. 29 and 34, 29 is the smallest. 45 and 34, 34 is the smallest. Next to 45 and 68, 45 is the smallest. Next to 68, next to 89, next 90. Now this is the sorted list and only 17 in the unsorted list. Next to sixth iteration, compare 17 with the sorted list. 17 and 29, 17 is the smallest element. 29 is next and next to 34. And next to 45, 68, 89 and then 90. Now this is the complete sorted list after n minus 1 iteration. Here n value is nothing but n is 7, right? 0 to 6. So totally n is 7. n minus 1 iteration in the sense totally 6 iterations. So at the end of 6th iteration, all the elements will be in the sorted list. Now the array is sorted. So this is the logic of insertion short. So here initially one element will be in the sorted list and remaining all the elements will be in the unsorted list. So every iteration, one element in the unsorted list will be compared with the sorted array. And this element will occupy the right position in the sorted list. In every iteration, the unsorted list will get decreased by one element. Meaning is that element will occupy the right position in the sorted list. That is the meaning. So likewise, if you are implementing n minus 1 iteration in the sense, finally you will get the sorted list. This is nothing but insertion sort using decrease by 1 technique. 
So in this session, we have learned what is insertion chart and how to implement the design steps with example. In the next session, we will discuss insertion chart algorithm and how logically according to the algorithm we are going to implement this example that we will discuss. Thank you for watching this video.